address the issue, whatever it is that you're facing right now, difficulties in your life, you have to go on and address the issue. Two main ways to do this. Number one is through action. And number two is through learning slash studying. Because it, if you know what to do, then you take the action to solve the problem. If you don't know what to do, you do your reading slash studying, the second part of the equation, to figure out what to do. So that way then you can know what to do and you can take the action. These are the two main steps to address the issues that you're facing, the problems, your difficulties in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. We all have them, every single one of us. This is why I follow a life philosophy of never stop learning and never stop improving because there's always going to be problems, but to eliminate as many problems as possible, knowledge is going to help that a lot because there are a lot of things we just don't know what to do, don't know how to do because we're not taught it or whatever, whatever. This is why self-education is going to be so important for your life. Studying, learning, reading every single day, figuring out things that you just didn't know on a day-to-day -day basis. And I just learned something new today, actually. And it's just like going and getting out of your comfort zone and, and talking to people on, like just experiencing new things on a day-to-day -day basis is just gonna change your life because you're gonna learn from that. And that's why it's so important to continue to learn through action, also learn through reading and studying. If you can do both of those things, then you're gonna see significant progress in your life because a lot of people are just too afraid to step out of that comfort zone, that little block box that they're, that they're stuck in every single day. And it's not good because you don't wanna be stuck in this comfort zone. Humans were not meant to be comfortable. We're meant to be uncomfortable every single day. And <clears throat> this is how it was like back in the day, you know, hundreds of years ago, we were meant to be uncomfortable. We, we fasted all the time, we hunted for food, but now it's just, the world has evolved to have comfort so to us instantly and that's not good it's not good at all so what you need to do is eliminate all of the distractions around you and everything around you that can take you away from what you actually need to do what you need to focus on your goals your mission and the issues the problems that you're going through in life focus on that don't focus on getting comfortable eating pizza relaxing don't focus on that take that away like eliminate everything possible <laughs> that's going to get you away from your goals because you always want your goals to be the forefront of your mind at all times all the time you want that to be the forefront of your ideas if they're not then you're not training your mind well enough i train my mind every single day there's six main ways to train your mind meditation affirmations visualization working out reading and journaling if you can train your mind in one of those six ways, if not all six, then you're gonna see progress in your life and you're gonna see improvements on a day-to-day -day basis. And you have to make time. Time management is also another big thing too. You have to make time management to get better. If you're not time managing to get better on a day-to-day -day basis, guess what? An idle mind is a devil's workshop, which means if you're not good at time management, if you don't have a full schedule, a full calendar, guess what? You're going to F off somewhere in that empty space of calendar that you have. You're going to go watch Netflix. You're going to scroll on social media. You're going to go to Pornhub. You're going to go to all these pleasures that you weren't intending to do. But what happens is your mind has nothing to do. So when you have nothing to do, your mind's like, okay, what pleasure can I seek right now? Like I said, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. If you have nothing to do, it's an idle mind. Uh, what can we do? Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Your mind is going to seek pleasure. Full calendar, full schedule, full busy, and you're going to be set because you're going to know exactly what you're going to do. You don't want to be spontaneous, but it's not good. You want to be set, set schedule. Don't be spontaneous. I was, I was listening to Hamza yesterday, and you know, you have to have a strict schedule. It's not, it's not even, people think it's absurd and crazy. It's no. You know exactly what you're doing every single day. It's a good thing. I want to know what I'm doing. I want to be spontaneously wondering what to do. It drives me insane if I don't know what I'm doing at all times. How to do it better. How to improve. This is my mindset every single day. Address the issue. 
by taking action, and also by reading and studying about the about the issue every single day. That's the video I have for you today. If you like this video, like the video, comment in the comment section, share this video if it helped you, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and we'll see you in the next video.